Hey everybody, Christopher Hunt here at the Colonial Ranch, and uh, I'm coming to you outside um, with the uh, winter enclosures for the uh, uh, the box turtles. Um, but that's not what this this video is about. Uh, today's a sad day, um, pretty bad day for the Colonial Ranch. So um, this morning we had a uh, sick sulcata tortoise. I, I noticed that it was sick. Um, it was lethargic, wasn't moving much, and um, it was just very weak. And I, I check on my tortoises every day to every two days, and um, he was fine. Didn't see any signs of illness, was walking around, eating, and, and everything uh, two days ago. And I didn't check him uh, on him yesterday. Um, but uh, today, he uh, this morning, he wasn't doing very good. And so I, I took him to the emergency vet. And they told me that he had pneumonia, which means um, after they did a swab of his uh, um, nasal discharge, um, uh, he had a, a upper respiratory infection, bacterial infection, and it developed into pneumonia. And uh, they went ahead and tried everything that they could to save him, but unfortunately they, they weren't able to. Um, uh, it was one of our recent tortoises from Northwest Tortoise. Um, he came to us healthy and happy. He had a vet check. Uh, when he came in and he was as healthy as he could be for having metabolic bone disease, which was no fault of Northwest Tortoise. Uh, they, you know, they, um, they received him in that condition. Um, but unfortunately, uh, once a tortoise gets pneumonia, they can go downhill very quickly. And that's exactly what he did. So within a matter of hours of getting it, he, he passed. So they tried everything that they could, giving him the antibiotics and a, a vitamin cocktail to try to uh, with nutrients to, to help boost his metabolism as well in that and it, it, he just uh, he couldn't uh, he couldn't beat it he succumbed to uh, to the disease <sighs> and I feel you know I, when I check him when I check all of my tortoises I always check them for you know runny eyes runny nose um, drooling in the mouth um, I check their cloaca um, I, I check you know on their backside to make sure that they're you know um, they don't have what we call swamp butt, <laughs> which is where um, uh, it's a lot of liquid because they're having trouble, you know, passing um, whatever they've eaten, um, usually due to a, you know, intestinal blockage or something like that. Um, he didn't have any signs, not even any signs of um, an upper respiratory infection. Um, he wasn't sneezing or coughing. And I know a lot of people say that tortoises can't sneeze or cough because they don't have a diaphragm, which... It's true they don't, but trust me, in my experience, they can sneeze and cough. So anyways, um, he wasn't doing any of that. Uh, no gurgling sounds, no runny eyes, no foaming at the mouth, um, none of that. And he was fine two days prior. And usually they have an upper respiratory infection for a little bit longer than that before it turns into pneumonia, but he didn't. Which means um, he couldn't have come in sick because... I had him checked by the vet and he was he got a clean bill of health again other than the uh, underbite and the uh, metabolic bone disease um, so I'm trying to figure out how he got it I'm outside right now which is where I, I have um, uh, his remains here but this isn't where I keep them of course you know he's a sulcata tortoise so they have an indoor enclosure and during the day I have it 85 to 90 degrees um, in the area and I drop it down into the 70s um, at nighttime. So the, I, I, the indoor heated enclosure is perfectly fine for them. And I have the right humidity levels, the water, you know, I've raised sulcutas most of my life, so I know what I'm doing. But, and he, he was still in quarantine period. So that I'm, I'm just at a loss. I really am. Um, every turtle and tortoise that comes in to the ranch goes through a quarantine period of at least six months. And, um, he wasn't done with his quarantine period by the the time of year we got him in September. Um, so I, in the indoor enclosure, he was separate from everyone else. So I don't know what happened, to be honest with you. He had to have come into contact with it somehow. Um, whenever I'm, you know, crossing, cross-examining species, I always wear gloves. Um, I learned that at the Turtle Conservancy and I, I don't know, I'm at a loss. Um, and I just feel horrible, you know, I feel really bad because he, he had a hard life before he came to me and I was expecting to give him a better life, 
which I guess I did for a couple months, but I was just hoping that he would have a better outcome, you know. Um, this is Hobo. Um, he's still a nice weight, you know, so I, he had been eaten up to two days ago. So they did an x-ray. They did all that. There was no impaction. There was uh, nothing. So it was confirmed that he had pneumonia and uh, upper respiratory infection. Like I said, though, you know, I check on my tortoises maximum every two days. Um, I try to do it every day, but that's the maximum amount of time that I let go by is two days. And I just can't figure it out. But um, my advice, um, whenever you have a tortoise, always go for an annual checkup, which again, he had his checkup. I always do an annual checkup. The vet actually comes here and, and, and checks on our tortoises. And, and sometimes we take our tortoises to them. Um, but we always do an intake check when they come in and then annually from that point on. Um, so he was checked, but it's important that you, you have your tortoises checked annually. Um, because once a tortoise gets an upper respiratory infection, they will not get better. Just so you know, um, they're not going to fight it and beat it on their own. If they have a, a runny nose, watery eyes, foaming at the nose or mouth, um, get them to a vet right away so they can get the proper antibiotics. There's different types of bacteria or viral uh, respiratory infections that they can get. And without knowing the right type of antibiotic or treatment to give them, you could be, you know, fruitless. You know, it's it's futile to give them their antibiotics if it's not the right kind. So the really the vet has to swab them and, and, and do a test on it to find out what kind of... Um, respiratory infection that they have um, um but always always check them uh take them into the vet once a year check your tortoises every single day i never would have thought that in two days they would have he would have gone downhill this quick it's never happened to me before um but i've i've learned something now and that is i will check my tortoises every single day um I thought every other day was good enough, but this clearly, I, I feel this is my fault. This is absolutely my fault because I am in charge of this animal's well-being. And although my husbandry techniques are spot on, I don't know how he got it. So somewhere there's a possibility of a mistake that was made where I have touched a sick turtle without realizing it. I'm human. Um, or... <sighs> He hasn't come in contact with another tortoise, so I, I, I can only assume it was me. I, I don't know. The vet said that he could have been um, sick in a carrier for quite some time. Um, and the, the vet that I had him checked when intake is different than the vet that I took him to when I, I take our tortoises to um, once they're established here. So maybe that vet missed something. I don't know. I take my tortoises and uh, turtles to all wild things, exotic uh, animal hospital now that that's where I, I go and and she is wonderful they are great and they are very thorough and they know what they're doing um so if i had taken this tortoise to her in the first place i think might have been a different outcome i don't know all i know is i'm just grabbing straws out of my brain right now trying to figure out where the error was but please learn from me check your tortoises every single day and um yeah just just check them Make sure they have the proper lighting, everything, and then do a, a visual inspection. If you have swelling of the legs um, or swelling of the eyes, you know, um, watery eyes. Now, some tortoises have naturally watery eyes, like my redfoot tortoises. They, their eyes naturally water. They're not sick. Um, but sulcata tortoises shouldn't be doing that unless it's really dry and they get something in their eye. But if you see it continually, um, check for mouth rot. You know, foaming at the mouth, turning black, things of that nature. Um, Weight loss is a big one. That's why I weigh every single turtle and tortoise every single month um, to see how their weight change is going. Now, they always lose a little bit around this time of year because I bring them into the indoor enclosure. It's a shock to their system that they've been brought in, and so it slows down their eating at first, but they pick right back up within a month or so. But they lose some grams, you know, at that point in time. But um, anyways... Um, little PSA I guess here uh, check your tortoises check them often check them every day not every other day I'm gonna change that um, I'm gonna check mine every day so
it's a shame. Um, but we learn from our mistakes and we keep going. We're only human. So um, every other tortoise I have, we have over 70, um, over 76 actually. So I, I, I'd have to go back and count them right now. I just took on a couple more, but, um, and they will all benefit from um, his life, unfortunately. And I just, I wish it didn't have to happen, but I, I've learned a very valuable lesson here. So um, check your tortoises and uh, take them to the vet never get a tortoise if you don't have the money for an expensive vet bill these tortoises cost a lot of money if they get sick and i've never not paid you know i will work overtime i will get a second job i will do whatever i need to do to pay for the tortoise's care and that's what you have to do because it can get expensive i mean hundreds of dollars um his care just to check him out and then he still perished unfortunately um the bill was 672 dollars for everything that they tried to do and that was just a one office visit. So, you know, if you're not prepared to do it, then please don't get these animals because they're not just an animal that you just keep and never have to take to the doctor. You take them to the vet, even if they're not sick, they should do annual checkups anyways, all of mine do. Um, anyways, again, uh, just to be clear, I don't keep them outside at this time of year here in uh, Indiana, uh, which is where we are in the Midwest. Um, I'm just out here um, because I'm, going to bury him on the property one of the things i i say to on our website is once a turtle or tortoise comes to the ranch they never leave so they will spend the rest of their lives here happy and loved or in this situation um unfortunately um he will be laid to rest here so anyways um uh, that's it so hopefully you've gotten something out of this video i hope it helps and uh don't make my mistake. Thanks.